The word jihad translates to struggle. It could be all kinds of struggle, but the actual word translates to struggle. I think as an Arabic speaker, I should be the one to define what jihad means and not Google, which is not Arabic, right? Just making that clear. Anyway, I went to a big Muslim convention just this past year. And I went to a, a Muslim banquet. I did a keynote speech and I, and I was trying to like motivate these Muslims to, you know, organize in the resistance. And I said to them that there was a story where a man asked our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, what is the best form of jihad or struggle? And then our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, responded and said, the best form of jihad or struggle is a word of truth to a tyrannical ruler. That's it. Right? Right? That's what happened. Everybody clapped. It was great. Chatted with some folks, then I went home. The next day I wake up and I'm trending on Twitter. And Donald Trump Jr., the, the son, now this is how crazy this is now, listen to me here. The son of the President of the United States of America was calling for my arrest for treason, for calling for a holy war against the President of the United States of America. I swear to God, I, I, if, go Google it, I'm telling you, it's was, it was horrible. Every celebrity all right personality in America was going after me online. I was getting death threats. People were doxing my home address. It, went, it was crazy. But then I decided to do something. And what I decided to do is I, saw, I decided to double down. And I called the Washington Post and I said, look, I got some stuff to say. You gotta give, I got, they were like, write whatever you need to write. Let's go with this. So I wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post, go read it. And it was about jihad. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I want you all, especially those in the room who are non-Muslim. We as Muslims do not tell Jews how to practice their religion in this country. We do not tell Christians how to practice their religion or Sikhs or Buddhists or anybody else from any other faith tradition. And in that moment, I decided why should I allow anybody else to define how I choose to practice my religion freely as long as I am not engaging in violence or inciting violence against any communities. And why, do I, why will I allow people who are clearly anti-Muslim to define my religion for me? How is someone who's anti-Muslim going to define what Sharia is or what Jihad is or what other concepts in Islam are? For me, I drew a line. And I said, you know what? It's not happening on my watch. And I'm going to defend my right in this country to be a full Muslim. And I also have the Council on American Islamic Relations who's going to defend my right to be a full Muslim in these United States of America. So if, 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 there are if there are questions that you have about Islam, if there are things, I don't want you to be shy. I don't want you to feel like questions are inappropriate. I love when people ask me questions about Islam. Is it true this? Is it true that? What do you think about this? That's cool. If you want to know about Islam, it might make sense for you to ask a Muslim. That's my advice.